Hi, I'm Olivia Squizzle, and today I'll be explaining how the universe works. Now see, I've taken one high school physics course, which makes me a certified expert. Multiverse? Time travel? Let's break this down. The world has a starting point. The world also has an end point. What happens in between those two points is called life. But what if I told you it's not a line? It's actually a circle. So where one starts, the other ends. When it ends, it starts again. And it keeps going and going and going and branching off a little more but it always starts and ends in a continuous loop goes on for forever and now this is where things get interesting see if you're in say this inner circle we're in this circle here um, the multiverse is any of these past loops, or future loops, that are going to happen or will happen. So it's not alternate universes, it's different points in time. So, if you go back in time enough, you end up in a different loop. In a different loop where maybe a version of you exists, maybe it doesn't. Some things are the same, some, some things are different. But there's infinite possibilities because time always goes on. So, if you're in one of these and go to another, this universe, whatever you do in here, if you go back in time to change the past, you go back to... A past universe and anything you change in this universe was always like that in this universe so if you changed if you went back in time to change things you're here you go back in time to change things all you're doing is going to a past version of the world so when you go back in time, you're not going back into this one, you're going off into a different one. So anything you do in this other world that you traveled back to doesn't actually affect anything because your circle continues on and it just affects a different version of the universe. So. If you go back in time, it doesn't change this at all, and no one will know you went back in time in this universe. And if you go back in time and change things, well, it doesn't actually change anything. All it does is create a different universe, because anything you could go back in time to change just sends you into a different universe where that already happened, because the universes are endless either past, present, or future versions of the world we live in, because it's a loop. We go around and around and around, and every time things change just a little bit. So, time travel sends you into a different one of these. And any time you try to change an event in one of these, it just sends you to a universe where that happened because it just goes on for forever and if it goes on for forever slightly changing it creates infinite possibilities so when the world ends a new one starts and so on and so forth forever so is it possible to bridge the gaps between these universes is it possible to time travel? The energy needed 
to escape one and go to another would be all the energy in one of these universes. So if you jumped into this one, this one ceases to exist because you just used all your energy. But because the world's infinite, there has to exist another universe where that one always existed and you never left. So if you manage to time travel, you would just go to one of these other, you would go to one of these other universes where you always time travel. So there is nothing you can do to directly affect the one you're in. And if you travel outside of it, it's destroyed, but it also creates a new one that is identical. So time travel is possible, but meaningless. And no one would ever know you did it. It's an impossible concept to actually be widely known. Because as soon as you do it, everything's destroyed. And it continues, and you'll just continue spiraling and moving through universes. The second you open the Pandora's box. Because if you're here, then you're here and that's destroyed. Then when you're here, that's destroyed and so on and so forth. And it's just a spiral. Everything spirals down from there. You keep hopping universes and identical ones keep being created. So that is how the universe works. And I just made that up. But it was really fun. Comment down below how you think the universe works, because that's like my favorite thing. I love talking about theories and um, physics and philosophy. It's a great time. I like literally this whole video. So that is the universe explained with Olivia Squizzle. Stay tuned next time when we dive into more fun stuff. Enjoy your day.